up for review today. I'm going to give you my initial impressions of the Reef Safe Solutions TC1 temperature controller. Website is www.reefsafesolutions.com. Pardon the mess on my desk. Um, here is the unit as it was given to me to check out. A um, couple specifications first. The unit itself is about four and a half inches wide by five inches deep by about two and a half inches tall. The cord and temperature probe coming out the back are six feet long. There are two outlets on the back, clearly marked, one for heat and one for cool. It's a nice plastic enclosure, has an illuminated power switch, which I think is really cool. The power cord is a nice thick grounded power cord, similar to what you'd find on a PC. Um, the unit itself is rated for up to 10 amps of draw and it can read in either Fahrenheit or Celsius. Sorry my, if my uh, camera keeps going in and out of focus a little bit. Um, so some features that I really like. Um, I really like the temperature probe. Um, here it is right here. It's pretty small. Um, the rubber is a nice flexible soft rubber so I think it has, um, it, it'll last longer and probably won't crack up. Uh, the temperature probe itself is pretty small and it's very lightweight. One feature that I like about this unit is it has a temperature probe short alarm. So if the wires in here short out, then it will emit a high-pitched uh, beep to let you know that that has happened. Um, I like that the outlets are very clearly marked because as it's a temperature controller, um, it wouldn't be very effective if you have the things plugged in to the wrong outlets. Um, it has one degree plus minus of accuracy in Fahrenheit mode, and it has 0 0.3 degrees plus minus accuracy for Celsius mode. Um, I like that the power switch is illuminated, and there's just one so that you can just turn it off while you're doing your take maintenance so that you don't leave your heater uh, partially submerged and potentially damage it. And then this way you know um, whether your uh, heater is on. Also, has a very nice bright uh, readout on the front. And it has an indication of heat and cool. So that's pretty cool. Um, the controls are very simple. Um, they give you a nice set of instructions. Um, on how to use the unit and on the back these are the programming instructions they're pretty clear I was able to figure it out in under a minute um, the unit comes with a 30-day warranty which is pretty cool um, also it specifies on here that to achieve your 10 amps total draw you can use an extension cord or splitter for the uh, to run multiple heaters or multiple fans, if you will. Um, the unit does save the temperature settings, so if you experience a power outage, the uh, temperature will come back to what you had it set at before, um, so you don't have to worry about losing that, which is pretty cool. Um, also, a feature that I am not familiar with, but it sounds pretty cool, is it has a compressor delay that is adjustable. And so basically is what that is, is when it gets warm enough that it's going to turn on your chiller, um, you can set a delay uh, up to 10 minutes, I believe, uh, to wait, um, probably just to save your compressor. So it might be a timing thing. You know, if you cool, um, it can't cool again for X number of minutes. Kind of cool. Um, again, it has a very nice ABS plastic and uh, bright numbers, which is pretty cool. So a couple criticism, cri criticisms that I have um, may not be issues for everybody, really not even issues for myself, but I can see them um, as being potential issues. Um, first off, there's no mounting holes or brackets for the unit or the temperature probe. Um, not a huge deal. I don't even know if other comparable units include that or not. 
Um, I mean, at least it's a nice sealed unit, so I think it might have a little bit better humidity resistance than a unit that has holes in the back. Um, but I plan on fabricating a bracket for it. Um, for the uh, temperature probe, I was just going to take a 25 cent suction cup and enlarge the hole, stick it through the hole, and stick it inside the tank. Simple enough. Um, another criticism that I have is on the back here, if you can tell, um, the temperature probe and the power cord uh, come out of a grommet in the back. Um, so first off, that makes them not replaceable. And also, um, it, at least for the temperature probe, um, usually those you fish up to your tank. So um, that could get a little bit interesting with fishing the cord up, um, where it'd be easy, whereas it would be easier if there were a connector here, and then you could fish it down from the tank and connect it here. So not, not really any big issues. Um, you know, I think it's really cool that this unit does both heat and cool, something that most units do not do. Um, I guess my only other criticism, I think the logo is pretty cool. I wish there were more. Anyways, this is my initial impression of the Reef Safe Solutions TC1 temperature controller. Um, I hope to have it picked up soon, and I'll let you know how that goes.